Hey, how are you doing? I'm JC. Nice to meet you. Nice nice to meet you. you. Tell me a little bit about IXX. So, is it from again? So, from what I've gathered from side, is it a little bit like Golem, where you crowdsource uh, computing power from? It's, it's not far from uh, Golem. Golem is uh, more focused on 3D rendering. We are focused on uh, for what? For rendering? Yeah, Golem is focused on 3D rendering, okay. and we are focused on AI, big data, 3D rendering, uh, green IT. Uh, but the, the concept is the same, that the, the purpose is to connect available computing resources from yeah. all over the world uh, to power the decentralized application of tomorrow. Available resources could be the computer of your grandma, it could be a data center. So we connect them in order to, uh, to make available resources useful for uh, companies who want to run a decentralized application. Right. And I saw you guys are already on exchanges, you know, you post IC on everything. So yes. what's the roadmap because the roadmap essentially ends in, in May. Yeah. So what's like the, the, the longer term goal? Like uh, what do you see like at the end of 2018 and next few years? Yeah. We um, we have released the first project uh, in uh, November 2017. We are on track to release the second project in May and um, the first project was, was about connecting decentralized applications. Okay. The second version is about connecting um, uh, providers, uh, resource, uh, computing resources providers. And the next step is to prove that centralized uh, business, like big players, yeah. uh, could also benefit uh, from the decentralization. And it is also to, to provide, to, to, to show that the dApps who run on our platform will be also flagship for the next move of the right. digitalization. Have you had any dApps being programmed on iXAC yet? Or? Yeah, we have a dApp store. Okay. We have released dApps store in December. And today we have uh, about 20 dApps oh, awesome. uh, on our uh, dApp store. And we will re really to be uh, the platform uh, providing an open marketplace to buy and to provide computing resources. Gotcha. And how does the RLC token play into that? The RLC token has two main roles. The first one is to buy or to receive uh, like uh, money when you uh, when when you need to run or when you have to provide computing resources. But the other part is also to validate the computing part. So the RLC is used to to, to be stuck during the process to be sure that the execution of the decentralized uh, of the computing uh, part has been done in the right way. Uh, um, it's a mix of. Um, of uh, reputation, it's also a mix of uh, stacking. So it's uh, very important to, to have a token who is useful for trading and also useful for the execution of the project. Of course, yeah, having the utility. What's your background? Are you from an AI background or what made you join the project? Uh, my, my personal background, I, am, uh, I have a background in uh, science. I have a PhD in, uh, in science. Awesome. And I have worked in business development, major acquisition, and also startup mentoring. Uh, in uh, Europe and in China. Uh, so uh, for us it's really important to, uh, to have a, a mix of background uh, to be sure that we will be in uh, the most important, impactful place in Europe, uh, USA, Russia and China and uh, Asia. Okay. And that, that's where your team is located? Yeah. We are in France, but uh, uh, half of the company uh, is from China. So yeah, we have a strong connection in, uh, in this uh, country. Awesome. So one question I always like to ask, A, what challenges are you facing? And B, how can the community help you take things further? The community? Yeah. The, yeah. Community. Uh, the, the challenge is, is um, really we want to, to explain that we come from uh, IT background. We have been used to connect 100,000 computers to run uh, computing in uh, astrophysics. So we are not new newcomers in the blockchain. So we want to be sure that everyone understood that our product come from something that is already uh, already worked for a couple of years. The second part is also to be sure that we will mix decentralized application, decentralized business, and centralized business to provide this platform, to provide the interest of this platform. And um, the, the, the interest of the community, for sure, the community is central uh, in startup, uh, in the blockchain um, area. For the investment part, also so because we provide an efficient solution to run the project. Right. Uh, so we welcome every person who have a project in uh, AI, uh, 3D rendering, big data, right. to connect to our platform, and we will kiss them. Run on it, yeah. And I guess make dApps on it, use the platform. And how? Uh, what was going to say? Those dApps. What? Uh, what device do they run on? 
Is it like just Ethereum? Is it Ethereum based apps? Yeah. Okay. yeah, today we are based on Ethereum, but our solution is agnostic. So tomorrow, maybe oh. we can be connected to EOS, Neo, gotcha. okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Waves, etc. The, the main players, the main chain, the blockchain players. And it's uh, our purpose to provide, uh, today it's off-chain solution on Ethereum, but uh, the purpose is to provide this off-chain solution for on different type of uh, blockchain. What's the best way to like to learn more about RLC? Be, uh, do you guys have Telegram channel, social media, or what do you keep active? Yeah, the, the best way is to go on our website, um, iExec, and uh, from there you will find our Telegram uh, channel, our WeChat channel, our Slack channel, mm -hmm. and on the Slack, Telegram, etc. We have a lot of people who are used to um, communicate with the community in order to answer the question, and also to provide all the information needed to uh, to have uh, more. Uh, info regarding what will be the next milestone of the development right. of Isaac. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for I your time. It. Yeah, thank you. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of uh, your name? My, uh, my name is uh, Felix Hart. Felix. Okay. Felix, yes, Felix. Okay. I'm from Europe as well, yeah. uh, originally Germany. Perfect. But um, yeah, no, I'm a full-time cryptocurrency investor and I, I've built a, a network of cryptocurrency investors. I know that follow me for my advice and so on. So okay, nice. uh, I've, I've got a network, you know, for like telegrams, email, the social media. So we're creating a lot of content for YouTube and so on uh, to create a lot more, you know, quality content that because when people look up, you know, for example, iExec or any of these companies on YouTube, there's very little quality content. Yeah. Most of it is like screen captures by some guy in his basement who's, you know, who gives yeah. his opinion. So what I like to do is, you know, talk with the founding team or the people behind it and, you know, ask a couple of questions and focus more on the tech because there's also most of the talk online is about pricing, yeah. but price changes every 20, 10 minutes, you know, so I like to go behind the, you know, what, what's happening underneath the hood. Yeah, yeah, that's really important to find a good equilibrium between the investment part and between the, the technological part because that's what will create the usage of tools. Exactly. I would say, you know, if the fundamental right the technology is right, it will, it will be pulled to the top like an act. So just focus on technology and it will be fine.